I've said that relationships are negotiated. They're always negotiated. They're negotiated when you're three, four, five, 40, and 50. They just are always negotiated. The Bishop T.D. Jakes is with us, and we've been talking about the fact that Taylor is really operating from pain, not anger. And she's doing some of the very things that uh, are threatening to destroy her life. And she says in the same voice, I really don't want to destroy my life. I recognize that. Now, Bishop, you said that you get into these situations, you're going to come out better or you're going to come out bitter. And in order for her to come out better, Taylor's going to have to mature to the point that instead of throwing a tantrum, she's going to have to have an adult conversation and negotiate with her mother about what it is that she's hurting about inside and choose some other behaviors to get what she wants. But that's possible to do, correct? Oh, it's absolutely possible to do if, she, if, her, if her mother becomes strong enough not to succumb to uh, debate all the time and to stand her ground. And what's very, very important, like grapes turning into wine, you can turn into something better than what you're grieving over. I really think to some degree, Taylor is grieving over the life she had, the relationship she wished she had, the, the person she really wanted to have in her life. One, it's possible uh, to love your father, your biological father, not love what he did, and still have room in your heart to embrace somebody new in your life. He doesn't replace your love. You don't have to fight over that. And you have to allow yourself to believe that what's in front of you is better than what's behind you. And that's something we all have to do. All of us have a history, but you don't want your history to destroy your destiny. Most of the time, when I do rebel, I still don't get what I want. Right, and see, I, here's what I think, Taylor. I think a lot of the things you want are not unreasonable. I think some of the things you're doing are unreasonable. I think doing acid, doing cocaine at 14, these are things that will destroy your brain and therefore your life. But I think a lot of the things that you're wanting to do in terms of some freedoms and, and different curfews and some things along these lines, I think you can negotiate for those things. And as the bishop says in his book, Crushing, Gina, if you and Taylor maybe kind of mediated in somewhat by, by Desi helping out, if, if you two could learn and agree to negotiate, then the drama could fall out. And as the bishop is saying, you could come out of this better than you went into it. I would definitely be willing to do that. Um, we would need help to do that because we have tried that and she doesn't follow through. So we'll have, you know, okay, you can do this and this, but you have to do this and this. And the last two things don't happen. Okay, so she's trying, I can tell she's trying, I can tell. Okay, for the last week or so. But you're talking about history now. And I, again, I'm talking about hitting the reset button and going forward. Bishop, in your book, Crushing, God Turns Pressure into Power, there's not a better example than this very situation for what you're talking about. You're absolutely right. There's a huge opportunity for this family to turn this pressure into power and to use this time of introspection, unfortunately, that's come about through COVID-19, but it's given them an opportunity to be introspective, to find that place of healing or negotiation, as you talk about, and transform it into something better. I can't help but think about all the families, thousands of families in America whose uh, loved ones, uh, mothers or daughters, are on respirators right now, those who have lost parents and didn't even get to say goodbye to them. They would love to have the opportunity that you're wasting. Let's remember how blessed we are to have each other, to have somebody to love, sometimes somebody to argue with, sometimes somebody to negotiate with, because there are a lot of families right now who have just lost what you are failing to appreciate.